I started out as a junior economist in the Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, doing some studies of uh, law and uh, practice in developing countries. I got a little tired of that after a while because it was sort of repetitious. Uh, and then I had a marvelous opportunity to do the U.S. sections of the first comparative uh, study of wages in Japan and the United States. And I thought I'd get a trip to Japan out of that, but that didn't happen. Uh, we met in Washington, D.C. Uh, but I worked on that for quite a while, and then I moved up and eventually became the, um, the chief of the Consumer Price Index Division. At that point, I got a little concerned because that's a rather important indicator. Uh, and um, I thought that I'd better refresh some of my uh, background. Um, I had a PhD, but I had never really focused a lot on some of the statistical index making, things of that sort. So I convinced my husband that I didn't want to do that alone. He had a PhD. I had one. We really didn't need the credits, so we audited some courses together at night. And um, I learned what I thought I needed to know, which was not how to do everything, but how to evaluate people to see whether they knew what they were doing and how to know the right questions to ask. Um, I moved on up in the, the LS and uh, became commissioner when uh, Jimmy Carter appointed me. Uh, it's a four-year term of office, and there is a history of continuity. Uh, the first commissioner, Carol Wright, was there for, oh, 20-odd years. Um, and I was appointed by Carter, and then I was reappointed twice by Ronald Reagan. And when I left, the, decided finally to leave the BLS, uh, George Herbert Walker Bush uh, asked me to chair the Advisory Council on Unemployment Compensation. So I have been in government since uh, under both uh, Republicans and Democrats, and I'm rather proud of that because I have a very strong feeling about the importance of objective scientific work. And I stayed out of the policy area, but I did a lot to improve the data at BLS and to interpret them objectively. I used to go to a lot of meetings and I was always the only woman there, but it never really fazed me. And I think that it is true that well, there were several things. One is my husband was great support and many women that I know have had difficulties because uh, they, their husbands felt they were in competition with them, but my husband did very well in government and so we never had that kind of a problem and he's rather secure in any case. Uh, but uh, I found also that probably because I was in the Labor Department that the people were really, the men, were really very generous and, and uh, very interested in the work that they were doing and were willing to accept me as a professional. Well, we had a lot of difficulties from time to time, particularly during the Nixon period. Um, the, uh, the president uh, and the White House didn't like some of the things that we were saying about data. And um, there was a reorganization created. And it, it's rather interesting because I thought that I knew who was responsible for what, the people who had defended us, the people who hadn't defended us, but I went back recently to the abuse of power tapes that uh, were now at the archives, and I went through the whole period. And interestingly, I found that the good guys really were the bad guys, the bad guys were the good guys, but the bad guys were really the president himself, who felt that the Bureau of Labor Statistics was uh, interpreting the data in a way that he didn't like. And he said very specifically in these tapes, 
Uh, don't they know they work for us? They should say what we want them to say. We never did that. We kept to what we felt was necessary for the public, and I feel very strongly about that. I think that um, there are policy agencies, and if you have a job of that sort, your job is to, to uh, promote the president's policy. But this is a scientific agency, and that means that objectivity is absolutely essential. Uh, I have had a few incidents. Um, I made a big change in the consumer price index, and I lost a lot of sleep over that at one point when we changed the home ownership component. We had a lot of academic uh, involvement. We had published articles for years. Um, and we thought that the treatment were in the CPI was wrong. But when you think that the CPI affects the incomes of more than half of the people of the country, if you take uh, the dependents into account as well, and who was I to be making a decision of that kind? We decided, the staff and I decided that after a lot of research that we should change the way in which we did this. And so I went to the secretary, it was then Ray Donovan, and um, I said, I uh, have decided to make this change. And um, I should tell you that I had first asked the lawyers in the department who had the authority to do this. And um, they said really that I got authority as commissioner from through the secretary. Um, but I was determined not to let this be politicized. Uh, he very nicely asked me about my professional judgment about it, and um, I explained the situation, and he said, well, I'd like you to come to a cabinet meeting, Cabinet Council on Economic Policy, and explain it. So I said, of course, I would do that the next morning, and I went with him, but before I went with him, I decided that um, I could not allow this decision to be made by the politicians. And so what I did was to schedule a press conference for directly after that meeting. Uh, and we put out a public announcement about it. And I decided that what I would do was if they said that it was okay to make this change, I would do so. If not, I wrote out a resignation and I was prepared to issue my resignation. I didn't have to do that, but I was prepared to do it. And that's an important principle, I think. Uh, one has to bring one's own sense of ethics to a governmental position, particularly in a scientific agency, and be prepared to resign if necessary. Um, so that was a rather interesting experience, I must say, and we got it changed, and I went into the press conference and announced the change, but I had this piece of paper in my pocket in case I needed it. <laughs>